So this video is just going to show you how to make your playbill if you choose it to do, to do it this way. There are um, some other options that you have if you wanted to go that far into it, but this is one that I have prepared a template for you. So you'll see when you get to it um, if you decide you want to do it this way. Um, first of all, everyone is going to have to create a playbill. You're going to see that on the day eight screen when you uh, open this up and it will also be on your final project document that you're going to be able to look at to see what you're going to need to do for your final project. So when you get to here um, on, on this document, you'll see that I have a link that will take you to your playbill assignment. Once you open it up, these are your instructions for how to do it. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can go with this. Um, first of all, you can see that I have two different templates for you right here, number one and number two. Um, they're very similar. When you open them up, you can see that this one has the word playbill at the bottom, a big red spot up at the top, and then a place where you can put images in the middle. If you look at the second one, same thing, except this time it's inverted playbills on the top, and this is down at the bottom. And I will show you some sample ones also. I have a slideshow on here that has some examples of it but let's just say I choose this one for my for my assignment I'll come back here now and it says you have to add an image of your own to the template now I put that some folks like using webcam toy to take a picture this is a website I linked onto here where a picture is going to a, a place where you can take pictures is going to pop up now I'm going to click on this and I'm going to show up on here and I'm going to have facial hair, and some of you are going to freak out. But uh, we're going to vote on whether or not I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to shave it off anyway. But So when I click on here, you can see, hey, it pops up. Um, and this is a site where there are a lot of different filters that people like to use. Um, you can see I'm clicking. There's left mirror. There's right mirror. Filters like you see on Snapchat and all the other, a lot of other apps. Um, top mirror, bottom mirror, um, upside down, switch, so if you like to use that, um, kaleidoscope. There are some of them that uh, when I get there like film strip you can see that as I move it goes in a, <laughs> it goes in order from top to bottom all the way down. Um, and if you decide you want to use a picture like this, you know, you can um, you know, click the click the photo here, maybe do something so that it starts and it'll take a picture of you in all random places like that, okay? And from there, you can save it to your computer. Um, I know some people like to tweet them out, send them to their Google Photos if you have those available. Um, there are some folks who just like to do screenshots, like if I were to just take a screenshot of this one I can set it up like that. It'll be a little off-center once I get to it, you'll see, but uh, I'm just trying to do this in a, the quickest manner possible. If you have any questions about this, I can talk you through it as well through email or whatever it takes. So now that I have my picture taken, and if I decided I want to use this template, I'm going to go up to File, make a copy like we always do, Replace the words copy of with your first and last name. My first name is Mr. for this case. Um, and then click OK. And then this is the one that I will be working with. OK. Um, when you share this back with me, some people want to email it. Some people want to put it in their folder. Uh, for this, these assignments where you're working from home, uh, you can do it either way you want. And I'll make it work. Um, some folks like to make this box a little bit smaller. You know, you can click and drag on all of these that you want. I don't want you making the playbill any bigger, though. You know, we, we don't want it to dominate <clears throat> what you're doing. So if I have this here, I'm going to click on the spot where I want to put my picture. And I'm going to click Insert Image. Now I'm going to upload mine from the computer because I screenshot it, and I'm not sure where the pictures went there it is that I took okay um, 
as I said, if you pulled it right into your drive or whatever it might be, it might be easier. Um, but once you get the picture inserted, you can, you can manipulate it how you want to do it. I might straighten it up just a little bit um, just to make the pictures up and down. Um, I know that it's off the, uh, off the uh, reservation a little bit, but I think um, that'll be fine for this assignment, what I'm doing. Um, going back to my assignment, I have a picture in there. Notice that I put for this picture, it can be a staged picture of yourself like I just did. Um, some people like to put, um, you know, maybe other family members or stuffed animals or pets or whatever you put in there for your choice um, as actors for your, for your scene. Um, I also put you could draw a picture and scan it in if you want to or take a picture of a drawing that you did and scan it and put it up in there. That's totally fine. Um, but the one thing you're not allowed to do is just do a Google search of Romeo and Juliet pictures and then just pull it in. Okay, not allowed to do that. I want to see original pictures. Okay, then step three is through the use of text boxes, you need to add the following. So you have to name your acting troupe. Okay, so give your, you know, whatever your group is that would be performing this play, you would, you have to give it a name. Okay. And I should have probably thought of one earlier, and I didn't. So I'm just going to call it, um, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm going to put it down in the red, so let me make it a color that I think will show up. Maybe make the font a little bigger. And we are going to call ourselves Untroop. Do cook, okay? Just putting a little uh, French accent into that. I might um, with this one. I'm not holding you specifically to any font. I just need to be able to read it, okay? You can have it going different ways, however you would like to do it. I'm just going to keep it straight, okay? Um, next, I'm going to uh, put another text box in. And I'm going to do a title of the play. Now, in this case, you know, you guys will be just calling it Romeo and Juliet, all right? Because it's going to be based on whatever scene you choose for Romeo and Juliet. Um, I'm just going to make up a uh, make up the name of a play that might fit the picture that I put on here, because that really doesn't represent anything from the play, in my opinion, yet. Um, but you might find that it works for something. So I will call this play, um, I don't know, The Many Faces, I better capitalize that, The Many Faces of Cook, okay? Um, maybe I want to put a little highlight behind there so it, it stands out, um, and that'll be the name of the play, okay? You can always go back in, change the font size, change the... Uh, change the font style, get it to fit however you would like to do it, okay? This is for you. So I have a play name, I have an image that I took that represents it. I do have the word playbill up at the top, I'm kind of creeping into that a little bit, so I'll drop it down. Um, and I have the name of the, the troop. Um, underneath there I'll probably add another I'll add another box and notice that the last thing you have to put on there is your name. So I will put something like, you know, on Troop to Cook presents a play for your enjoyment by and then underneath there, I'll put my name, Mr. Cook. Okay, you can play around with this. You can be um, as creative as you want with the name, with the name of your group, your fake acting troupe that you have. You know, you can make these bigger, smaller. You can have it fit any way that you want. I just want to make sure that you have all of the elements that the assignment asks for. Okay, so this could be my final playbill right there. Um, but just looking back at the assignment, 
I have the word playbill on there. I have an image that I took. I have um, the name of a fictional acting troupe, the name of the play, and I put my name on there. Um, I did put down here at the bottom that you do have an option, like other classes did, to create their own, your own playbill in a different way. You remember that I have things posted all around the room, like a, a poster boards. Um, I have that wooden thing in the back um, that's real nice. Um, something on canvas all of the things that people had created before you are allowed to do that if you want um, however you still have to make sure you have these elements to it we need the name of the play we need to have your acting troupe name whatever you come up with um, you need to have your name on there in order for it to count and it has to be something that shows that represents something you know a scene from the play Okay, if you remember, some of them have like a dagger with an, a, a decorative R on one side for Romeo, a decorative J on the other side. We have another one with um, a poison vial and a cross and all of that stuff. You know, all of the things that are symbolic to the play, okay? The last thing down at the very bottom you can see here is a video of me creating one. Obviously, there's no link there yet because I'm making that video as I speak, but I will put it on there as soon as I'm done. And then the very, very bottom, it says here are some sample playbills. And if you click on there, you can see some playbills from professional Broadway plays that have been around for quite a while. And there's some Shakespeare one right there. Um, how to succeed in business without really trying. The Crusade. Okay, notice that they're just putting all kinds of images that represent the, the play in some capacity. Okay? This was made to look like it was painted on a brick wall because it's West Side Story. Um, obviously, this one is, um, you can see that they made it look like it's shiny and glowing. Um, this one, Equus, that, you know, it's not only a person, but also looks like a horse's head down at the bottom. Um, you know, this is the family represented. You can see the Jerry Orbach Theater at the theater center. So that's the name of the person representing it. And, um, the name of the there's a theater troupe right there um, this is the name of the play um, Al Hirschfeld theater okay so if you want to for your name if you want to put theater there that's totally fine as well um, these were the players who did it the Coburn Coburn players Les Miserables of course and then Wigan okay so if you have any other questions about this please ask me and I will be happy to help Thank you.